be here. Ah, Gina, it's Rick. Look, I have Keith Raymond here, and we're just discussing the possibility of surgery for Heather's baby. I was wondering if you could come down for a few minutes. We're hoping that it had closed by itself, but as you can see, there's no sign of that yet. No, but if his <clears throat> condition is stable, I think we're still making the right decision. Mm -hmm. Hello. Ah, Gina. This is Dr. Raymond, Dr. Lansing, Dr. Gina Dante. Um, how do you do, Dr. Raymond? How do you do? Dr. Lansing I know from Denver. How are you, Gina? I didn't realize you two knew each other. Yes, we were colleagues at Mountain Memorial. I see. Well, Keith and I have uh, both evaluated the baby's condition. And we agree that as long as he remains stable, we don't want to risk sub subjecting him to the pain of an operation. I see. But what happens if he suddenly takes a turn for the worse? We'll just have to deal with that problem when it arises. We're hoping that it won't. I've come to do some fence mending. Do you have a minute? Come on in. Steve called and uh, told me he was keeping you on the staff. Yes. He's been very generous about it, I must say. Mm-hmm. I guess you know that Leslie played a big part in his decision. And not to say that Steve doesn't make up his own mind, but her opinion carried a lot of weight. I know. He told me what she'd done. I'm very grateful to her. Look, it, it isn't easy for me to come here and ask for favors, but it seems I have to. Steve said he'd keep me on, but he couldn't guarantee whether I could stay on your service. He said he wouldn't recommend it, and that it's your decision to make. I know. He told me. Rick, I want to stay on your service. Is there any way you can separate the harm I've done you personally with my professional ability? You know, you once asked me if I thought you'd make it as a surgeon. And I wasn't any more certain then than you were. But you've proven you can do it, Monica. You can be a top surgeon. And if Steve can separate the personal from the professional. Well, I guess I can, too. You can stay on my service if you want to. Thank you. Thank you, Rick. But just keep on doing the kind of work you're capable of. That's all I ask. I'll do my best. Is there something else? Yes. Oh, there's one other thing. Gina told me that you disqualified yourself if Jeff's baby should need surgery. If you decide he does, I'd like to assist Dr. Raymond. You would? Why not? I don't have any emotional involvement with Jeff. That ended a long time ago. Maybe I can make up to him in some small way for the pain I caused him. Be married. I promise you, it would be just as easy for us to switch the party um, to the penthouse. It wouldn't be any trouble. It, you just have to call people, you know, and say we're going to be in a different place. You're sure. Okay, then. All right, why don't I see you after work, then, and we can sort of set our final plans. No, uh, Terry, no. I just, I thought, you know, I'd give you the option. Okay, yes, I'll be there at 5 o'clock. Okay, bye. You uh, couldn't talk her out of it, huh? No. She says she's up to it and wants to go ahead as planned, but if you want my opinion, I don't think she's in very good shape at all. Well, I'm not surprised. The district attorney really put her through the meat grinder yesterday. I know, and I think that is so unfair. It makes me so angry the way they can, they can take even the most innocent thing and make it seem awful and twist everything so that you're saying exactly what they want you to. He made a relationship with Mark seem like something cheap and, and tawdry. 
told me she never felt so humiliated in her whole life. I'm sure it also can't have been very pleasant for her having to go through talking about it all with Mary Ellen sitting right there hanging on every word. I don't think that it's been very pleasant right from the very beginning. No, I guess they never have had what you could call a happy relationship. Oh, Rick, it's just not fair. Why can't everybody be as happy as we are? Well, we're just lucky, I guess. <laughs>